But of course, there are some players upset over the fact that you can't choose to play as a woman in the multiplayer. After all, that's an option in Call of Duty. They've had that since Ghosts in 2013, plus Black Ops 3 even let you play as a woman for the main character of the campaign. Battlefront, another dice game, also allowed playable female characters in multiplayer. And even taking all of that out of the equation, it's 2016. Just about every game that has any sort of customization has a male or female as its first choice. Oh my god, bro, it's 2016 and we don't get to be able to play as women in video games. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Please kill me. Oh my god, no. Out. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of basically something that I've been trying to make for a little while, but I haven't really got into it that much, but I'm actually going to get into it, and uh, this was basically from The No, you know, that great channel, The No. And, you know, they're talking about Battlefield 1. But the thing that they're talking about Battlefield 1 is they're talking about Battlefield 1 being sexist. Like, how the fuck is Battlefield 1 sexist? Give me an answer right now. But, as anyways, I'm going to show you guys the clip that I just played. And I'm going to tell you guys what I really think of this. Because, you know, this isn't really a big deal because you know all those feminists out there they want to be like oh you can't play as woman as battlefield but for the record you can play as woman on battlefield and the story mode that's the main character so i don't know where you've been but hey whatever you want but of course, there are some players upset over the fact that you can't choose to play as a woman in the multiplayer. After all, that's an option in Call of Duty. They've had that since Ghosts in 2013, plus Black Ops 3 even let you play as a woman for the main character of the campaign. Battlefront, another dice game, also allowed playable female characters in multiplayer. And even taking all of that out of the equation, it's 2016. Just about every game that has any sort of customization has a male or female as its first choice. What these people are saying is dumb. All white people are racist, all men are misogynistic, all cisgender people are transphobic, all members of a majority are biased against the members of the minority or oppressed group. Okay, women are not in Battlefield 1 for a reason. That's because it takes place in World War 1. Now if you didn't know this, obviously you should probably go learn some more history, but women weren't actually in the war unless they were being you know a medic or they were supplying stuff or maybe even being you know part of the Russian battalion because those are the only women that I actually knew or maybe people that just snuck in and grabbed a gun and they started fighting those are the only people that I would know that were actually in the war now from your perspective you could be a woman from the war okay thank you thank you for your service thank you you know but Battlefield, they're trying to make it realistic, you know, maybe they will add more women to the game in the future, like the Russian battalion at least, but, you know, that these people are talking about is, you know, realistic games and non-realistic games. They're talking about black ops and this and that way, but hey, by all means, you can call whatever you want, Star Wars, Battlefront, you know, they're... They're not realistic games. They're non-realistic. They use lasers and other guns. And then you can like fly on those. You, you know, lightsabers and stuff. Star Wars stuff. All sci-fi. And Battlefield's trying to get that realistic aspect in there. And they're actually doing a really good job. And I, I actually want to thank anyone who has probably made it to the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end and I want to thank you for being a loyal supporter as well because you should always, as always, as a loyal supporter, hit that subscribe button. Just kidding dog. But anyways, as I said, 
you know, these people, they might have been taking it to the wrong hand, or there's just, like, a bunch of feminists that are just getting cranky about something stupid like this, and I just wanted to address it, because, obviously, it's something that, you know, needs to be addressed, and a lot of other YouTubers probably have addressed this, but I wanted to be one of those, so thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoyed.